Welcome on 6-3 fight letter again, this time with wild fights. Juicy guys overcharging their gear while fighting me. Teaching higher tiers where is their place. Getting wild loot too. Come and enjoy another 6-3 blood letter fiesta. There was 8-3 blood letter who wanted me to dismount him, lol. Well, Seems like he lost his patience and chose the 5 second cooldown version. Stalker jacket and keep him booked and E to disengage from his. Waiting for his boots to finish to put him in cultist cover. At this point he is 100% dead, he even just ate his food. But Mr. t raid one handed curse had different plan. I managed to secure the kill, kept fighting the curse and disengaged as soon as his boots ended to prevent him to E me. No fucking way. But him managed to dismount another one-handed curse red and my nice kill went totally ruined. I feel sorry for you, man. Uh, no fucking I swear I'm so pissed off. Versus 447 3 blood letter, swapped my spells after nearly dying in first trade. Pure Miss Snapper as he has better CD anyway, Cavill for throwing him away in his jacket and Shadow Edge to stay on top of him if he decides to leave the scene. As you can see it worked like a charm. Now he has to eat my full jacket. Here I used Shadow Edge a little bit too early as my E wasn't still ready but I was close to 40% HP and without Undead Cape so I didn't want to risk. Managed to catch up with him thankfully to perfect off screen Shadow Edge. We both used E in catching up so I knew he can't execute here. Throwing him away just to be sure but missed Shadow Edge and the catching up will be hard. But I managed to do it. GG. Let's try how this will work with 2 tiers higher, 4 4 8 3 blood letter. He played perfect first trade, my jacket went wasted so I kited out for his. I can't run now so I turn back and use cultist cover to at least match his damage. I had Stalker Jacket first because of previous early usage, but it still wasn't enough for my E to kill him. As soon as his jacket came up, I knew I had to pull the trigger and put him in Undead Cape early. He tried to run away and did a cabbage soup cheese. This trade wasn't ideal and I was close to execute range, but he didn't want to risk to put me in Undead Cape and choose the other direction. Badly for him, it was direction of tier 7 crossbow red. I found my way back to him and used E immediately to reset CD as his undead cape was on cooldown. Managed to catch up, secure the kill, leave the scene, grab the loot and leave the scene again. Great success! What are you trying to do? Versus 6-3 have a fist on Assassin Jacket who tried to gank me on a camp wall. Used my E a little bit late so I got hit by his E anyway. Stalker Jacket first as his invis was still ready. As soon as he was revealed I closed the gap and used cultist cover as now he has no defense for it. Matching boots. Keeping my W for his E. Then decided I will just bait it so he doesn't run away and pop my Stalker Jacket to make him use it as without it he has no way to kill me in Undead Cave. But he didn't even manage to put me in Undead Cave, GG. Versus 6 3 carving, Fen. We fought in mist before but there was too many reds so we took the dispute in the duo mist. I still had snapper from first fight, it's better to use it versus carving as you still have better cooldowns but little more HP and sustain is very nice versus brawlers such as carving. Didn't dodge his W and E which wasn't ideal, but he used mist blocker jacket instead of porch which gave me upper hand as I still had cultist cavalry. But I used it too early and he just kited it out. 
As soon as he closed the gap with his boots, I knew I'm in big trouble. So I overcharged, but then he used his W and E way too early, so there was nothing he can use for execute. And therefore, I just chased in Undead Cape, used W for damage boost and E as soon as Undead Cape finished and he got in execute range. GG. Let's check some loot and then we will have kill compilation as usual. After that, we will get into more fights. Enjoy! Versus 6 3 in Abbey, same buff. Always keep mobility spell to dodge his E. As I dodge now with my W. He disengaged waiting for his cooldowns. I called up, he overcharged, so I matched his overcharge just to be sure. So he is turning, so I stepped back and managed to dodge his E without using mine. He had his jacket ready, so I turned back, but stayed close enough to catch up if he decides to run away, which he did. I closed gap with E, which was big balls move, but could have cost me the fight. I had nothing now to dodge his E, so I popped my stalker jacket before the stun, so I will match his. But he decided to keep his stalker jacket for reasons to me unknown and disengage while putting me in cold east cavalry. Well, you can't run away from Torch Bloodletter, so I just sliced through him and grabbed the prize money. Versus 6-3 prowling on Assassin Jacket, so he had no defensive for my cultist cabo. He threw him while he was transformed, waiting with my W for his W. Which didn't come for some reasons and he just kited behind the stone wall, only to pop back at it like an Asian driver. He changed his mind about fighting me, so I made his boots. Stalker Jacket as soon as he transformed. My little brother just found the W on his keyboard, damn. And soon after he found the Lord too. GG. Versus 8-1 battle X, very tough fight for Bloodletter as we have to play the trades perfectly. Dodge this E, so close the gap with WE. Stalker Jackie to bait his Inferno Shield. And as soon as he pops it, disengage with boots, I expected him to forge it, but he matched it instead. Q back into him as he was catching up and then sidestepping after every auto attack to make it harder for him to hit the E. He hit it nicely anyway, so time for cultist cavalry damage. 
went back in for a short trade of Qs and autos only to bait his E with stepping away from him and then changing the path. All battle axes use his distance to hit E better so you can bait it like this pretty often. Stalker Jukit was purged so I disengaged for his adrenaline rush. Matched his boots, he popped Inferno shield for Prowl, so disengage again. Meanwhile I lost the bleed stack so his E just tickles and the second one doesn't heal which is ideal versus bad legs. He got me in undead cape, this will be intense. I will probably die to his bleed stacks before undead cape debuff even ends. Calculated risk, baby brother. Damn, that was close. GG. Now for the regular outro I will show you my fight versus Gordini. Many of you know him as Prowling Spammer. Same buffs. He threw him, keeping my W as he missed his W. Stalker Jukit for his transfer. Again, keeping W for his W and Cultist Cavo for another transfer. Kept my distance to bait his boots and knowing he will W under me, changed the direction immediately back to him. It worked. Cultist Cavo for his transfer. Holding my E when he's missed Walker Jackie Dance. But I did a too short execute and he somehow escaped it. We then kited each other and for my another E I didn't expect his missed locker jacket can be ready again. Damn, GG. Well, that's it boys. I of course died many more times while doing my limit testing with 6 tribal letter as I didn't play the weapon for 2 months maybe so I had to get used to it again. I was kinda even on the profit including all of the deaths but at least half of them was me fighting 8 3 or even 8 4 guys in 6 3 gear because sometimes I just forget to not measure just the T size but also the IP difference. After that I played fair amount of 8 blood letter which will be probably next video and at the time you are watching this one I'm running already with 8 4 sets in mist hoping I will not die before I can get enough content for full video. Otherwise I'll have to start my shorts career as many other youtubers already did well. Wish me luck guys, I have exactly money for 2 sets, if there is anyone from you who wants to donate me something so I can try 3 sets, I am all up for it as I already received my first donation somehow. For next giveaway I will give another 8 3 mays and 7 days of premium, also congrats for this giveaway winner, add me in game and also in discord, read description how you do it. Thanks for watching guys and consider subscribing if you manage to watch till the end. Your noob, Grinder.